Now, over the last few weeks, singers and musicians across the country have been releasing charity singles to raise money for NHS charities during the lockdown. And now Amanda Holden has got involved and released her very own version of Over the Rainbow. Let's take a listen. And I'm pleased to say that she joins me now. Good morning to you. Welcome. Um, am I correct in saying that this is your first ever single that's been released? Is that right? Yes, ever. You could wow. call it my debut, I think they call it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, um, I was lucky enough to be offered an album deal uh, last year off the back of something that I did for my husband to celebrate our wedding anniversary. And... We put that on hold, obviously, because of the pandemic and Over the Rainbow just seemed like an obvious choice to release for NHS charities together because it, the rainbow seems to have been become the symbol of hope and the symbol of new beginnings. It's in every single household window and it was already on the album. I didn't have to go into a dark room with a towel on my head and record it. It was already done so um so so we decided to release it it was literally a, a week ago today so your first ever single um why has it taken this long why now um well it's i would never have released this single i think unless there'd been the pandemic um it's available to download obviously every single penny from the download goes straight to the nhs charities together and now just because it's the it's to raise money the album will come out when it's ready but it's um we i don't think we would have released this had the album continued in a normal way it was just one of those lovely songs that i had on there because every song on my album um is has got a story behind it and something to do with my family and uh it's been well documented that we my husband and i had a child that was born sleeping our son theo and um somewhere of the rainbow was on the album because my daughter Holly was born the following year and when you've lost a child um, you often call the, the child that comes next your rainbow baby so that's why Over the Rainbow is actually on my album and of course the NHS was involved in both those stories and I owe them everything I owe them my life basically so this is just my little way of helping. Yeah, so we all hold the, the NHS, dear, and as you say, you've got your specific um, experiences. What, what does the NHS mean to you? I mean, everything. As, as I said, uh, they, they, sa they saved my life. They brought Holly into the world and looked after her whilst I was in intensive care. My sister was in a, a horrible car accident three years ago. Um, they got her through that. And just as a family, they... They have held our hand and loved us through every single trying time that we have been through. I feel like I've used them more than most people. Um, so I've always been so appreciative of them. I think we've all known the NHS are there, haven't we? But now there's a very strong light being shone on them. They've become a beacon in our country now and they're doing incredibly well. All our frontline and key workers are setting such an example. Um, and I hope that that remains when, when lockdown is over and we're on the other side of this pandemic. I really hope that that love and that community spirit and that appreciation for them, it, it still exists. Indeed. And how are you coping with the, the lockdown? I think I've seen pictures of you mowing the lawn in uh, ball gowns and putting the rubbish yes. out in tiaras. <laughs> Yes, you could What's say I've, I've lost the plot <laughs> slightly. Um, I've just been trying to, to give everyone a little bit of light-hearted fun. And most people, I think most people have taken it in the vein that it's supposed to be. I've just, you know, I'm, um, I try to think of funny things to do, basically, to cheer everyone up. And, you know, I came downstairs in my ball gown and my husband, who's basically been videoing all of it, has gone, oh, my goodness. What are, you, what are you doing now? What, what's the plan now? As I said, we're, I'm taking the bins out and doing a slow-mo, <laughs> just as a bit of fun, a bit of light in the dark. So yes, that's what I've been keeping busy on social media. I'm very lucky to still 
be hosting Heart Breakfast every morning as well. So I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones. I've got to go to work every morning. So it makes me feel a little bit more normal. Uh, and very quickly, your, your views on, on the lockdown. We know that we're going to have an announcement from the Prime Minister on Sunday. Um, yeah. your, it's been suggested that, that you think perhaps we, we should be coming out of the, the lockdown now. Um, I, I personally think that, some of the, that, that we should stay in it for a little bit longer. I think that we've flattened the curve as they were planning to do. And I, I think we should go on to the end of the month. But I know that that probably wouldn't make me very popular. I've got two girls who are desperate to get back to school. Financially, I know so many people are suffering and everyone's craving that kind of normal behaviour. But I'm worried that there'll be a huge rush and that people will sort of get back to a new normal without thinking um so i'm sure the government know what they're doing and i'm sure on sunday they will put new rules in place that will keep us safe but i just hope no one takes too much advantage of any thing that's relaxed is all i'm praying for amanda thank you very much for speaking to us this thank morning thank you for taking the time this morning bye bye bye